Welcome back to the Graham Miller Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson men's soccer head coach Graham Miller. And last week, played two very good teams in Lebanon Valley and eighth-ranked Lycoming. Talk about talk about those two games last week. Yeah, it was uh, you know it was going to be probably our most difficult um, you know week of the season. You know, two very good teams in our conference that are regionally ranked, and and obviously Lycoming being uh, nationally ranked. Uh, in the top 10 so we knew it was going to be difficult um, but we went into both games with belief that we could do something and you know Lebanon Valley it was you know uh, nil nil at the half and, and then second half you know actually once they scored uh, which you know we gave that goal away in a bad free kick um, we then went up the field and we had some momentum and I thought we could you know we had a chance to tie up that game uh, you know we just didn't put the ball in the net and, and they finished off the game and and so we we kind of we took some positives from that that we can hang with the best teams in the conference and uh, you know, going into Lycoming, we knew what was at stake with, uh, you know, needing another win to have a shot in the playoffs. And, you know, we went into the Lycoming game and, and, and believing that, you know, even though they're nationally ranked, we played, you know, Hopkins this year, we played some good teams, um, that we could win the game. And, and, and at one nothing, you know, only down one nothing at the half, we came back and, and I thought, you know, we had a lot of momentum on our side. We earned the penalty, we finished the penalty, and at 1-1, after 77 minutes, I thought we had them, and and uh, you know they just t they kicked into another gear, and that's what nationally ranked teams do, and you know I think we get tired, especially after that second goal went in for them. Um, you know I think that kind of deflated us um, because we had worked so hard to get back to a tie, and and so the last 10 minutes were a little rough for us, but you know we can take the positives. So for 81 minutes, we competed with one of the best teams in the nation, and they are very senior heavy, and and we're very young, and and uh, you know we were. We definitely took a lot of positives, and, and hopefully that'll go into this week. Yeah, speaking about seniors, Lycoming was your senior night. Uh, and despite you being only the head coach of the men's team for one year, you've been around. Uh, talk about those eight eight men and what they've they've done for this program. Yeah, and, and you know, those – and I said it, you know, in the, my uh, – post-game um, interview the other night. These eight seniors have been um, so supportive. You know, I know Jake Brown's only been there one year. Um, the other guys that have been there for all four years, you know, I've known them over those years when they were with Coach Pleviak and Coach Bordelon. So, um, you know, I've, I've grown to knowing them and now obviously knowing them over the last few months. They have been nothing but supportive for the things we're trying to achieve with this program. They are the, the foundation that we're now going to build this program on and, 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 you know, they brought a lot to the table this year and just their positive attitude. And, and it's been a positive season I mean we you know even after you know such a tough loss on Friday the guys you know we went to the senior tailgate and all of them you know they're giving flowers to the parents for you know for um, you know hosting the tailgates all year you know they're they're laughing they're joking they're, they're definitely and, and they were doing it in the way that they knew that they gave like homing a fight and, and 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 there's more to this program than just one game and these eight guys you know they've been through a lot well seven of them have been through a lot um, you know to be able to to be positive and keep going and not you know these are these this will set them up for the future they've been through some adversity and um this is going to set them up for their careers and, and they really are all of them you know are just great guys and i've been I, I feel blessed that i was able to coach them for the last three months we're looking at the near future still have two regular season games left and you're not eliminated yet from the playoffs obviously you need a little bit of help too but you have you have an opportunity here starting with alvernia on wednesday night and then at messiah on saturday I mean, we know what we have to do Wednesday. You know, we're not even, you know, looking ahead to Messiah yet. You know, we've always taken the season one game at a time. But we know what is at stake against Alvernia. It's their last game of the um, regular season. They're three points above us. Uh, you know, we get the win over them. Then we're, you know, tied with them and we have them on the head-to-head. -head. So we know we have an opportunity on Wednesday that if we can win, we can throw ourselves in that mix. And then, like you said, we're going to need some help with, you know, some of the results. And, you know, Hood and Arcadia both have two games left. And they're one point above us as well. So... Everybody's in the mix, and um, you know I think even Widener and Albright are in the mix as well. So uh, with two games left, it's good to be in the mix. You know we're happy where we're at right now. Yes, we you know we could have had some other results, Arcadia and Albright, that we kind of look back on, and um, but we have a chance against Alvernia, and that's one of the games we looked at at the start of the year that if we want to be in the playoffs, we got to go on the road road and beat Alvernia. So we'll be excited come Wednesday. Well, coach, we wish you the best of luck on Wednesday night, and we'll see you back here next week. Thanks, Sam. For Coach Graham Miller, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been The Graham Miller Show.